Welcome back to another episode of Alice Wolf Plays. Red Alarm Germany. Take some water there. I had taken some before recording, but I needed another. Uh, last time, we were thinking about what we're going to do uh, in the near future. Because we've got some problems going on in the long run that we kind of need to deal with, right? Uh... Going to have anti fascist policies though. At least it's going to be a while before he can. He's got to go down this line. Before he can declare war with Germany. Ugh. I'm concerned. I am. I am legitimately concerned. Um. Because I don't know, I don't know where France is going. If France goes communist, we are going to be wedged between four. Oh, good lord! What's this about? The Fourth International. A number of communist delegates from around the world met in Paris today for a founding conference, laying the groundwork for what has been known as the Fourth International. Calls for its formation have existed for years, with supporters of Trotsky's theories taking the lead. Stalin has responded to the growing support for Trotskyism abroad by ordering additional assassinations and increasing propaganda against his old rival, with the past search purges of suspected Trotskyists in high ranks of the Soviet military and leadership in recent memory, this is unlikely to be met with any resistance. How many internationals will there be? 42%. We are going to be wedged between two, two separate communist bulwarks. I'm very concerned. I kind of want to build, like... My own Maginot line? Moseland, Moseland and Württemberg would get some fortifications. But there's nothing to fortify over here. We would we would essentially have to abandon Ostprosen uh, and Hinterpommern and rely solely upon a wall from Pommern down through Ostmark and through Niederlichen. Probably, I'll probably all be down to Oberleich. Just to form a long bulwark on this wall of, of, of a river. Might have to do that. We might have to consider this. We're gonna build one. We're going to build at least tier 1 so we can have some. Yeah, we're going to build like that. I don't know where... All right. Can't go across like that. Okay. So we don't need... The ones we don't need are this, this, and this. Because you can't... You can't cross here. You can only cross here. Right. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to have our own little fallback line. And then down here, I guess we can build a fallback line like this. Which is also what I'm going to do. It's right there. Switzerland will hopefully remain neutral. I have seen them go the other way before. I'm considering building a Berlin Wall, too. 
uh, just along this river in order, just in case, like, this just collapses. I kind of want, like, tiered defenses, you know? Oh, I am paused. I am so sorry. I did not realize we were paused. I paused for the Trotsky event. How are my planes coming along? Build a new fighter wing. We're short on fighters. But we do have close air support, so we will get a close air support wing. Support. Um. They are building fighters, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. Speaking to the Italian populations along the Dalmatian coast, Benito Mussolini has announced that Italy fully considers Italian-speaking territory in Yugoslavia to be a rightful part of Italy. An official statement backed up the claims, making it clear that Italy is prepared to take territory by force if need be. They're, already, they're upsetting the already fragile balance in the region. The United Kingdom pressures Republican Spain on the tradition of British influence in the Mediterranean projected from Gibraltar. It should come as no surprise that Britain government has decided to put political pressure on the fascist government of Republican Spain. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, paradox, that's a bug. They're not fascist. They're communist. Uh, still rebuilding from their civil war, British support is far more important than political principles. Uh, the British are exerting their influence. That is true. And then we just finished that, so it is time. Uh, I want to get... I want to get this over with. Alright guys, now is the time to decide our fate. We can revive the Kaiserreich, which gives us uh, unaligned support plus 10, defense drift, faction tension limit, lend lease tension limit, send volunteers tension limit. Uh, Nine line party will be known as the Dutch National Volkspartei. We'll have the return of the Kaiser. We'll have the ability to then open up these two trees. So we get expatriates the communists. Which means we can make France communists. We can accept British naval demands after that. Lands within the shade. Carte Blanche for Alsace and French colonies. Bypass the Maginot uh, line in the south. Ooh, that declares war with Switzerland? Weird. Also, assassinate Benito. Break the Anglo colonial hegemony. Should have one of the possessions across the Atlantic. Rekindle imperial sentiment in Austria and Hungary and Czechoslovakia. Huh. Um. The Great Red Menace? Oh no. We are going to re-establish free elections. We are a democratic society, dang it. We will make a return to democratic ideals by reinstating free elections to be held at a point in the near future. And that near future will be nearer than we think. Decisions available, promises of peace. Our stability is pretty high. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Yes, I know that these guys haven't a, select, a place selected yet. That's fine by me. I could get Danzig. At least connect these two territories. Which would be nice. Also get me a major port. Yeah. 
and it would take away some of this communist leaning Polandanism. Still working on that, huh? What's France working on now? Military factories? Italy's working on modernizing their army. <laughs> they should have done that during the actual WW2. What's Hungary looking at? Industrial techniques. And Czechoslovakia. They're another major player here. They've not gone down a political direction yet. It's like they don't have a very detailed... I haven't played Czechoslovakia before. Access to the sea. Huh. Huh. It's like, yay, we made it to the ocean. Quick, build boats. That's funny. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what our long-term plan is going to be here. Because right now we've, we've got some scary repercussions that are coming down the pipeline. Am I only building one of these? I should be building two of these. Not enough equipment to train. Yeah, they need these support equipment. Mobile defense is complete and excavation one. That's good. Both of those are good. Soft attack from support companies and ten organization or line artillery. Yeah, no, this support equipments, support divisions all the way, and then next. 39's coming up, but it's not here yet. You may able to race tanks. Get some more synthetic rubber. Uh, we do have a new tank available. The medium tanks. We're going to go ahead and get them into production line. We're not going to produce them. Yet. Panzer 2s, Panzer 3s. Got it. Uh, we're good on artillery. Bring that down. We're good on guns. We're good on that for now. There. That's what I want to do. Which means we need tungsten. Portugal's got tungsten. They're not aligned. Give us tungsten. Yeah, that means we're producing medium tanks for no reason. Well, that's your that's like your opinion, man. Dang, looks like we can fit three of these. Something like that. No, not that one. I didn't mean to drag that one. I meant to... Here. And that. There we go. Now it's because we got those six civilian factories that are running as well. Oh, it like minifies it. Fascinating. I kind of like the Maxified. It gives me a little bit more information. Uh, we're getting there, guys. Next time.